World War I, how did it all begin? Well, on June 28, 1914, Austrian Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated by Gavrilo Princip, a Serbian nationalist. And World War I broke out. What? Really? This war, unprecedented in scale and impact, was all the result of the assassination of an Archduke from a crumbling European power that didn't even survive the war. No. Actually, people like Otto von Bismarck, Iron Chancellor of Germany, saw the war coming decades earlier. The writing was on the wall. So, here are four leading theories of what caused World War I. 1. The rise of nationalism. Nationalism, an extreme form of patriotism which expressed itself in many ways, became the dominant ideology in 19th century Europe. Some even saw it as a natural stage in evolution. So, many Europeans were actually eager to fight for land, honor, and country. 2. Disturbance in the balance of power. The unification of Italy and of Germany in the mid-19th century. The crumbling of the 500-year-old Ottoman Empire. An unstable post-revolution France. And an Austria-Hungary struggling to sustain a multinational empire in an era of nationalism disturbed an equilibrium that had kept Europe together for centuries. 3. A tangled web of alliances that went haywire. In the decades prior to the war, many nations created a web of alliances. The result was that almost any declaration of war or even mobilization of military power by a relatively small country could create a domino effect, sucking more and more countries into conflicts they had no interest in. 4. Offensive military theory. Prominent military theories in the early 20th century gave utmost importance to the side who struck first. So just the fear of being attacked began an unstoppable race to war. Whether it was one or some combinations of these reasons, it's pretty clear that Europe was already sitting on a powder keg destined to explode. The shot heard around the world was merely the spark.